Hello, I'm making a sequel video to the uh, RCBot2 one. This one pretty much shows you guys how to install the um, <laughs> the uh, Be With Robots Redux plugin. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. I always start with OBS up to make sure it's recording, so <laughs> yeah, if that gets annoying, I apologize. But uh, here's the website. I'm going to link it in the description. Click on the 1.12 one, and, make, and here's the... Source mod and meta mod ones. Let me back out of this. <laughs> they both look the same, but trust me, they're they are different things that are required to make them work. And m make sure to download these as well, which um, I'm not going to link. I can't find all of them. These two are actually no. These three are optional, but but items, attributes, utilities, and DH hooks. Those four are required for this to work. And uh, once you do download those, I'm going to show you all how to install SourceMod and BandMod. I have both of them right here. So as you can see, this is SourceMod. They both come with the uh, SourceMod and BandMod both come with an add-ons folder. But as you can tell, SourceMod comes with a config file. Now this is important because it contains all the things. Well, not all the things, just those two. But but all these are important. And the path is the same as the RCBot one. Like go to this PC, Windows, Program Files 86, Steam. Oh fuck, never mind. Uh it's hold on. Program files eighty six. Oh no wait, yeah, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And we click on TF2. And we click the TF folder. And as you can see, I already have it installed, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag and drop both of these, both source mod and meta mod files that have add-ons and config file in, onto your TF, uh, excuse me, into your TF folder. And then once you do that, once you download it, source mod will come, not source mod, uh, Be With Robots 2 will come with pretty much everything you need. And one of those things is the, uh, is the config file. Now this is pretty much important. This contains two of them, Robots Normal and Robots Giant. Obviously, these two are very, uh, you need to familiarize, uh, familiarize yourselves with these. So essentially, you can pretty much add in weapons, cosmetics, edit, edit the bots in the files themselves. Like, uh, like one of the heavy bots, for example. Let me, let me go to him. Yeah, so in the default file, it's going to be labeled as Steel Gauntlet Pusher. While well, I modified it to be Steel Gauntlet, but yeah. And uh, if you want to use the um, the uh, Rome Vision cosmetics, I will uh, have a link to the website that shows them that shows the um, cosmetics. Now, even put in the um, the numbers to look for for them. So yeah, uh, put all those files in there. And obviously, you guys install source mod and meta mod as well. And uh, once you do that, you can open up the game, and you'll pretty much see it pretty much working. Okay, this isn't live gameplay; this is recorded. But I'm doing it to show you guys that there was a step I missed into uh, adding the RC bots. Essentially, what you do is you type this into the console: RC bot space add bot, and that'll add in the bot and all that stuff. Yeah, as you can see, it added one in. And I have a key bound to do this, so I don't type it in every time. But yeah, essentially, just put that in to add as many bots in as you can. If you want to put them in MVM, you gotta um, you gotta pretty much put in max players thirty two or thirty three. Either or is fine. But um, yeah, as you can see, um, again, the bots are pretty much going to where they need to go. Let me skip to where. Yeah, and here I show that you need to type in exclamation point join blue in order to um, join the robot side. Now the game, now the gameplay is going to be a little laggy, so I apologize because I was recording this while I was I'm trying to get this, I'm not trying to get this video done, but when I was recording it, it was still dropping frames a bit, but not as much as a as the previous video that I tried to record for the other tutorial.
yeah, and uh, once I once I die like the first three times, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get these to work in your own server because there is a there is another thing to put in there for it. Yeah, see, it's lagging <laughs> or dropping frames, dropping frames. It's dropping frames, not lagging. There's a clear difference, you fucking idiot. <laughs> but uh, yeah. You can either be part of the wave or be a completely different robot. I just choose to be part of the wave because, you know, I don't want to feel left out. It's taking me a while to die here. I think I might actually die up here. Okay, so now that that is done with that fucking laggy ass gameplay, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get the plugins to work on your server. And yeah, that's a funny. Funny image there of, of Vergale from DMC5, but uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on TF2, click on properties, give it a moment here, I don't know why it's taking a while for it to load up, there we go. And in general, now, uh, pretty much all these parts are not important here. The one that is important though, is this, dash insecure. If you type this in, you'll pretty much be able to use the plugins. Essentially what this does is that this allows you to join, join or make servers for valve that are not um they're not vac secured meaning that people with cheats can come onto your server but that's a small price to pay because uh, you pretty much want to use the plugins anyway so you're pretty much gonna be making private private instances to test them out which i've been doing uh so yeah that's pretty much how you get rc not rc but be with robots redux to work and uh yeah i'll see you guys later